Hi, dear Glow family. This is today's speaker, E.T. I'm a member of the Tree of Life in the light. My greetings to you. As I mentioned last week, now I'll talk to you about the reason why we need to study our mind. It is written by Udeka. If I don't believe in myself, I can't trust others completely. Being able to trust and believe others at any moment is possible only when I trust my own decision. I don't trust others because I don't believe in my own judgment of others and I am shaken. Difficult and hard relationships with others are not the problem caused by others. If there is a problem with a relationship with others, it's a contradiction caused by my problem. And that's the essence of the problem with others. The beginning of all the problems is my consciousness. The mind is energy. The ego is also energy. Love, hate, and resentment are all energies. The reality of what's bothering me is that I am reacting to the energy that is exposed to the situation at the moment. Mind controlling and letting it go is not achieved by just determination. You have to notice that you are responding to the negative energy that is happening with the action of the mind and the ego, and then you have to let it go away. You have to realize that you are responding to the negative energy with your mind and ego, so just let it go. In a daily life, you get angry with the uncomfortable and negative energy and amplify the energy and return it to others. And most people live with self-shooting mechanisms that blame the external environment or others. You are simply attracting other people's negative energies and reacting to those. Eventually, some emotional problem is that you create it by yourself and respond to it. If you are upset with someone and disturbed by something, the trigger is outside. But it's your fault that you can't release the negative energies and you respond to and attract it. Ultimately, everything in your life is governed by the law of energy that you created and brought in. Without the peace of your mind, the relaxation and love of your heart, the energy of deep compassion for humanity, and the energy of love and mercy, you cannot take out and use the energy of love, mercy, and compassion at any moment. The law of causality in the world is made up of the law of energy. A world with all abundance can only be realized if it is prepared within one's inside with the energy. We are the creators who create the world through the consciousness of the mind at every moment. Everything that bothers you is the energy of your mind and your consciousness that you've created. The world is always noisy and dizzy. The world has always been and will continue to be so. The world doesn't change unless you change yourself. The world is always busy and dizzy. The world has always been and will never, never change. 
As long as you are not changed, the world will always be windy and dizzy. This is why we should practice our mind. June 28, 2019, Udeka Wright. Translated by E.T. Thank you. If your heart wants more information, you can use the English blog udekalight.blogspot.com slash p slash sitemap.html Live Tree TV of the Tree of Life in the Light. Thank you.